The request for the delay was one of four different motions filed today by attorney Lynn Watley. Watley says he needs more time to prepare his case because new evidence has surfaced which may prove his client's innocence. Specifically, Watley says a secret witness has come forward who saw the murder of 15-year-old Jojo Bell. This witness, according to Watley, saw Bell murdered by someone having some connection with this man, Tom Terrell. Terrell once lived in this house on Gray Street in southwest Atlanta and has been linked with several of the child victims, including Bell. What prompted him to come forward now? I cannot reveal that either, but there are several reasons why he came forward. Uh, basically, some promises of protection. Watley also claims that even though fibers were taken out of the Gray Street house, the defense was never told whether these samples were ever tested. In fact, Watley says the defense was never shown any reports of any fibers taken from any place except the Williams house. And if fibers taken from other locations did match fibers found on some of the child victims, that would be very important to a jury. But Assistant District Attorney Joe Drolet was not impressed with Watley's argument and says his office will fight any move to delay the hearing any longer. There's some evidence that uh, someone who previously testified or, or was interviewed differently uh, now says something that would tend to implicate someone else. Uh, generally, that is not grounds uh, even for an extraordinary motion for new trial. In this case, Jojo Bell, of course, wasn't one of the victims that uh, Wayne was charged with, with murdering, so it's... Uh, you know, we, we will contend, of course, that that's not really relevant to the question of whether or not he killed uh, uh, Jimmy Ray Payne and Nathaniel Cater, the two persons he was charged with killing.